if I can just take you back to Harry Kane, he's 28 this year. Um, a lot of the big strikers and goal scorers who have played for you have played on very, very late into their, their sort of years. Latan 39, Drogba 40, Ronaldo's now 36, Eto 38. I just wondered, I know it's difficult to predict, but do you see a player in Harry Kane who could play on for, for sort of 10 more years at the top level if he wants to and if he's OK with injuries? Has to ask him. Uh, depends on on what he wants to do, and I think he's even too worthy for him to think about to think about that. I think he's, he just enjoys his football, and uh, you know, when a striker is just that kind of goal scorer that can only play in 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 that position, is more difficult. Because when they lose that, when they lose that um, intensity of the younger people, is more difficult for them because then they have nothing. But this kind of of players, I think they get better with uh, they get better with time, with experience, with understanding of uh, of the game. Um, in this moment, you see Harry, you see Benzema, and Benzema is 33 already now. This kind of this kind of striker, um, they are very intelligent. They drop back, they assist, so they can transform their game. And later in their career, instead of be the the nine targets, they become the nine and a half, and uh, between the nine and the ten. And they have football until they want, but it's too early. Twenty-eight is it's too early to think about that. Okay, Carve Solico. Carve. Uh, Jose, I just wanted to ask you uh, about the balance of power in North London. Obviously, when Arsenal were winning titles, they were arguably the, the bigger side in North London. Do you think, considering the players you have now, the stadium? Uh, the facilities and also uh, the recent record in the Champions League, that the balance of power has shifted a little bit in North London? I want to be respectful. I don't want to to go in that direction. Uh, I'm very proud to be at Tottenham. I, I have the feeling every day that I work in, in a big club, but in spite of the rivalry between us and Arsenal, I want to be respectful. Arsenal is, is a big club with a big history. Um, a little bit like us, they are trying to build a better, a better future. I have, I have total respect for them. Okay, Katie Shanahan. Evening, Jose. There are seven points between you and Arsenal with both teams winning again tonight. How are you approaching this North London derby and what have you made of Arsenal so far this season? I look up, I don't look down. If Arsenal was seven points ahead of us, I would look to them. But because we have seven points more than them, I don't look down, I look up. Um, But at the same time, we look always to the next match and uh, if instead of Arsenal it was uh, Villa or Newcastle because are the next matches that we are going to, to play would be exactly the same the same feeling. We, we feel that we are better than the position that we have on the table and um, we want to improve that position so we need points for that. So it doesn't matter the opponent, doesn't matter if it is uh, London Derby. In fact, it's the fourth that we have in a row in, in, in the Premier League. It's a Premier League match. Uh, three points are there to fight for. And that's what we are going to to try to to do. OK, we've got time for two more. We Dan Kilpatrick, we're finishing with Valley Gold. Dan, you're first. Hi, Jose. Just to go back to Harry, in, in terms of mentality and, and just kind of hunger for the trophies, you know, a real desire to, to win that first team trophy. I mean, have, have you ever met anyone or, or worked with anyone quite like him in that regard? 
I've been lucky enough to work with players with great uh, with great ambitions, uh, and it's not possible to have a career like like mine without without players with uh, with ambition. Uh, he has that, no doubts that he has uh, that, no doubts that he, of course he wants to to win matches, score goals, uh, win trophies, uh, totally committed with the club, totally committed with uh, the national team, is a very good example of a top uh, a professional, not just a top player, because sometimes top players are not top professionals, um, and vice versa. He is top player, he is top professional, and he's a great uh, example for um, for everybody. Okay, Ali Gold to finish. There you go, Jose. Um, you had Sergio Aurier back today, and obviously Matt Doherty has been in good, improving form in recent matches. How much of a battle is that for Sunday for the right back slot? And that's amazing. Uh, they're both playing well, and that's what I want, and that's what I need, and that's what the team needs. Ben Davis, Regillon, uh, and I'm just speaking about the fullbacks, but the reason why today we changed seven or eight players in relation to the last match was because I trust all the guys. Because the last time I did this, we lost against Antwerp, and everybody was, was killing me and and right so because i make these decisions but in that match i felt a little bit let down by attitude and it was a moment where uh, not everybody was was working well and hard and trying to play every match in this moment i changed seven or eight players today in a very important match i did it because of uh, the trust and to be honest I didn't change 11 because I didn't want to give the team a feeling of uh, uh, it's too much or I'm gambling or something like that because I could perfectly change. I felt bad for my decision of not playing Joe Hart. Uh, one of the best goalkeepers in, in, this, in this country, no doubts, one of the best goalkeeper, the English goalkeepers. I didn't want to play him, not because uh, a question of trust was more for a question of feeling to the to the dressing room. I cannot change 11 players. Uh, the game is difficult, but I have everybody. So the question was about Serge and, uh, and Matt, and I went in other directions in my answer. But the reality is that in this moment we we have we have that we have everybody. Everybody playing well, working well. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Thank you.